Hey guys, so I decided to vlog my day today and the reason why I've done that is because I'm gonna head off to the hairdresser. I went a few weeks ago, um, actually I went about a month ago and I got my hair lightened. I, that's a whole new story, it wasn't supposed to be this light. I really don't like this colour because I feel like it looks kind of like a ginger colour more than like a light brown that I wanted. So go to a different salon and get it a slightly darker, maybe even a chocolate brown, closer to what it was before. So basically I wasted a lot of money just for this, uh, which I don't like. Obviously all that bleach and everything and I really really regret it. So that's a whole new story. I might explain that later. but. Today I'm off to a different salon, I'll take you guys with me on my journey and yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I just want to show you, show you quickly what outfit I'm wearing, it's a quick outfit I put together. Just a pair of jeans from Zara, a pair of boots and then a top from the violin and this little jacket here is from the violin. As you could see from the earlier, the story was that I went to a salon and they had an offer on for like a full head of highlights and I asked for balayage. This obviously does not feel like balayage. What happened was that I asked for kind of like a like a mushroom brownie kind of hair colour, so kind of like strands of like the light of bits going through and not like a full head like this. Um, where my hair has completely been lightened to like a kind of like a gingery colour which I did not want and yeah so the salon that I went to was really friendly I had no issues in regards to how I was treated there it was during the it was straight after the lockdown they were not, um, they had offers on uh, they weren't allowed to offer any teas or coffees we had to wear masks and yeah so we, I had this experience where she was lovely, but the thing is she didn't do what I wanted her to do with my hair. So I was really dark, I was like a brunette, dark brown, and from dark brown she made me feel like this, so ginger. I mean she, she put treatments and things through my hair which I paid for and that was fine. But at the end of it all she was... Uh, it's not how your hair's not turned out how you wanted it, but I can do another session and you can come and basically book yourself in for another session. And they wanted me to pay for it. So, yeah, so I'm not going back to that salon. I do not want my hair to be any lighter than what it is. I'm actually feeling like I've wasted all that money and I'm going back darker because I feel like the situation is a bit crazy. I don't know if lockdown is going to happen again and i really don't want to be ended up with like hair like this so i'd much rather be darker and not have the hassle of having to go to a salon to sort it out eventually so that is the basic story behind it so just arrived at the salon and i have to wear a mask i'm just ready to get my hair done And I'm not sure if I can film fully in the salon or the lady, but um, this is what my hair actually looks like in the light. Um, I've got all the um, equipment on, sat down, I've had a quick discussion with the lady. Inside my hair looking a little bit browner, but I kind of want to go for darker because you can see that there's a lot of ginger and a lot of red in here. And I just want to go darker, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm kind of going to go for. Oh, I also picked up a bubble tea and the one I got is from Cup. I got a mango fruit tea with like popping bubbles. I'm really hooked on these at the moment. And yeah, so I'm gonna go for... So these are the colours that she's showing me. So she's gonna mix these two up. This one's like a light brown and then a dark brown and that's what we're going to go for you can't see in the light but you can see that it's actually a kind of like a chocolate brown that we're going to go for
we're just getting the color put on it actually smells really really nice it smells like I don't know like it's got a nice scent to it it's not like your usual um, smell of like the colors that you normally would have in a salon so the ladies adding extra color just so that it covers all the bleached hair So the lady's actually just put some colour on and she's left it on here. The good thing about the Aveda products is that they have no chemicals in them and they're organic and they're plant based so this is what the lady was explaining to me so they're not actually chemical based, they don't have any sulfates and they don't have any extra um, bleaching properties, in fact they're supposed to leave your hair in a really good condition. So yeah, I've used this salon before and I've was like, my mask is not staying on today. So yeah, I can't wait for my hair to go back to being darker and warmer chocolate brown. So these are the shampoos the lady's using on me. She's using Aveda's Color Conserve and it's a shampoo and conditioner as well. Your neck yeah. is catching here the distinct the color to don't go on your clothes. Okay. So we're just gonna wash off the color now. And yeah. So guys, we're fully done and uh, the ladies styled my hair into nice little curls, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm back guys and I've had my hair done. I'm really really happy with the results. I wasn't able to film the end of my video from there or walking back because my camera died out. So yes, here I am. In this light it looks really dark but it actually isn't. It's got a lot of um, chocolate brown in it so she mixed like a couple of colours. Her service was really good. She actually went through the different colors with them. Um, I'll go into the light so you guys can see properly in here. The light's a little better in here. Maybe it's too much light here. You can see the chocolate brown in the hair. I love the way she like sort of curled my hair. I think she used the GHDs to curl it like this but she actually blow dried it straight first because she really wanted because she wanted to see what the color was like my experience in this salon has always been great so yeah I'm happiest being back to brown I wasted so much money um, but it's worth it now that I'm back to how I was and I will not be bleaching my hair again for a long time I'll go outside so you guys can see a little bit better and if you guys can see because i'm outside you might be able to see the color a lot better 
it's in the light natural as you can see that it is back to being dark and there is obviously um, a nice chocolate brown color going on there so after a few washes I know it's going to get a little lighter but I'm kind of prepared for that I don't mind it going a little lighter but I just don't want it to be as light as it was before so if you guys have seen on my snapchat or uh, my Instagram stories you'll see how light it was and yeah like I said my experience of the first salon wasn't great it was after the lockdown period and it was all fine I wore a mask I wore a mask to this one as well um, it was all clean and everything that wasn't the problem the problem was the fact that my hair didn't turn out how I wanted it to I, ca I went in there as a brunette and I felt like I came out there as a blonde um not a blonde blonde but like a ginger blonde it wasn't it really really wasn't what i was expecting I had a lot of compliments to say that it suited my skin tone and it looked fine but when i would take when i was taking pictures it was coming out as like a very kind of like a gingery color i guess in reality it looked like a golden golden like a light golden but in the pictures it was like ginger and it just wasn't me at all so yeah a lot more confident and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and don't forget to leave me a like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon <laughs>